What's going on guys, Kyger here. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the New Year's event. There's actually several things going on, including Daisy, a new Coliseum, and something you can AFK farm. Let's get into it. All right, so something important I should talk about is over here in events, you can see uh, my server went live on the 9th. Uh, it is currently the 18th. Uh, it was only one hour on the 9th and we're, you know, two or three hours into the 18th. And so it's only been around for seven days, but I have all the events going on. Uh, hopefully that means um, all new servers are going to get new events. That would be an A plus for the game. So talking about events, we have this exchange right here where you need ingots and new, uh, new year blessings. Ingots... You can actually get kind of easy up here in your daily quests up at the top. You will get ingots just from doing your daily quests. If you logged in between midnight when this went live and 5 a.m. server time at reset, you would have got an additional uh, dip into this. As far as the New Year blessings, you're able to get those from AFK farming, uh, get those from killing monsters in the wild. And then you exchange those for house stuff. Uh, antique fate cards, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, skill rubbings or gold. If you're a free-to-play player, I suggest coming all the way down, converting everything into New Year's Blessings, and getting as many skill rubbings as you can. If you're a free-to-play player who's progressed a while, uh, and you don't really need the skill rubbings, go ahead and get, you, get yourself some of these uh, home items, which will give you innate stat bonuses. As a spender... Uh, it's up to you if you think you can go uh, deep enough into the fate card fragment. It does have a limit of 25, so you can make one during the event. Talking about the fate cards, if we come over here, you can actually see two of them right there. Uh, I've actually had a buddy craft one already, which is the third one, and they're the same three that are over on the SEA server. Uh, the stats are going to be slightly different once we get a chance to look into it, but the numbers are in, and I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. So then we have Mon uh, Monster Nian Challenge. Uh, same thing, if you came in between midnight or 5 a.m., you would have got an additional attempt at this. But if we take a look, a lot of people have asked me to make a, a video on these new... Coliseums, it's actually a lot easier than you think. You don't lose anything by trying. You only get a payout if you win. So I suggest going to Nightmare, check off as many things as you can, attempt it, take off one if you lose, keep going. If you're only able to do Nightmare, try hard, same thing. The biggest uh, tip I can give you is on these class ones. Uh, if you, let's say this uh, gladiator right here, for my other class, uh, damage dealt is reduced by 50%. So you really want to uh, have a class that you want to stay in most of the time, like Judge or uh, one of the Gladiator skills or even Ranger's Marksman, and then have a secondary that you only want to be in for a short burst window, such as Wind Chaser, such as Priest, such as Mechanician, and then just put them down even though it's reduced by 50%, 50% is more than zero. Now going into, we have a total gotcha for the new outfit. Um, it's fine to go ahead and pull on this. Remember uh, that this specifically only works on gold gotcha. So if you pull on with silver, you will not uh, be towards the total gotcha, which also rewards you with gold currency to keep going. Uh, as a reminder, down here in the mirror mall, we have daily pack monthly, monthly pack right here. Uh, that gives you 20 pools, some other stuff, and 150 uh, gold, which is 15 pools, $15. If you're going to pool on it anyways, uh, then this is how you save your money. Um, if you do the conversion for crystals, It'll be 15 for 150, and then you're also getting, uh, you know, uh, two 10x's of seeds right there. Then if we look around, we have, I don't know if the older servers had uh, the Twin Lotus link, 
um, when it just came around a couple days ago. But me on my new server just got it. Uh, this could be an accelerated for the uh, base one that you're supposed to get at the uh, 12th or 13th day mark. But right now it's the 9th day. So it's a lot earlier than it's supposed to be. Uh, I am going to be doing some pulls on it. I am going to be doing 60 right there. Uh, because that is kind of the break point because it jumps from 60 to 100 and I don't, I'm not going to be able to do 100 pulls to hit that. I'm going to do the 60, try to get the twins as much as I can and then save everything for the next link event where, uh, look at numbers and see what I can get away with to get some additional rewards. Then as the last thing that you can do is if you click the spring festival we have Daisy coming next week. I know I told you guys it's coming today, which she is kind of here. If we take a look, fairies, book, Daisy, you can do first encounter, which is her backstory, learn things about her, get a 10x worth of stuff, as well as, uh, I believe it's the eighth one towards the bottom, you get a chance to actually use Daisy. Uh, it's kind of a weak opponent. So don't use any skills, take it off auto, and you can just click Daisy and see what how her ability works. I think that's really cool, and we can technically play her right now. But uh, really what they meant was that the event would be live today, which it is, but she is actually going to be here next week. A lot of players are going to be happy because uh, Twins just ended for a lot of people, and you have a week to save up for Daisy. Uh, but really, that is it, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, it's actually kind of free to play friendly because you can get the you can get the ingots right there. You can AFK farm the New Year's blessings. You have the neon, which I mean is whatever. Uh, it's actually kind of nice because you get these uh, fragments right there, which will make a superb. Uh, I'm still trying to find out. I did my dragons for the day, but we're still trying to find out if dragon has a chance to drop the red ones or if it's still not going yet. Uh, you cannot, they are not in the book yet, so you can't go look at them in the book and do the conversions. But with my buddy that has one of them, we were able to look at numbers and there it's about two and a half times to three times, uh, the power of the, um, Two to two and a half times the power of the superb, the gold ones that everyone's working up for 25 to 30 times the cost to bring it up, uh, which, you know, it's the first wave. So they're testing it out. I would suggest not going for it. But if you're going to spend, go ahead. I can't tell you not to. Right. I actually think it's a we have some pretty decent events going on. Uh, you can also spring festival. And the bottom right hand corner spring festival takes you to daisy click that click claim red packet you can claim one once per day not just one and done because up here in the right there's a, a pink quest that will show up that takes you here to claim one you can do it once per day uh, you open it for a chance of uh, gold summons whatnot i think you really want the chest that lets you pick any of the four types of uh, fairy upgrade materials I myself are going to be picking the uh, um, bloom, the twig, because that's the hardest one for me to get, only possible to get from uh, Elemental Realm or uh, Auction. But that's the event, guys. I hope it helped you out. In the comment section down below, put black cat space and whatever you liked or disliked about the video to be entered into the giveaway. Till next time, guys.